So here's the thing. I think Apple may be a little bit confused what to do with a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Having said that though, this M2 chip is very impressive. What's up guys, it's me Bobby and we are back talking about the all new 13 inch MacBook Pro M2 version. The Pro and the Air M2 were announced at WWDC a few weeks ago. We got the Pro first, the Air will be coming in shortly. We'll be doing a review on that as well. But I'm gonna give you my first impressions, running through some tests and all those great things. So here's what's gonna happen in this video. We're not gonna talk about Geekbench scores or anything like that. We're gonna talk about real world usage because that to me is the most important. Scores are one thing, but using in the real world, video editing, photo editing, browsing the web. Also, I wanna tell you how I use my laptop because to see if it fits with your usage because you might watch this video and go, look, I don't use my laptop that way. This might not apply to me or, hey, I do use the things or the apps that Bobby uses, so I'll listen to him. Okay, here's what I do. I browse the web. Do you browse the web? I'm sure you do. I watch YouTube videos. I'm actually making a video for YouTube right now and hopefully you're watching it and liking it and subscribing to the channel as well. Um, I answer emails. We have to do that nowadays, right? Yes, I do WhatsApp, I do Telegram, I use my Photos app, I do all those things, all those things that we do every day. And then I do photo editing and video editing. Now I use Lightroom CC and then I use Photoshop. I shoot with a variety of different cameras. Um, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of gear on those shelves. I use pretty much all of it. And anywhere from medium format to 100 megapixels all the way down to the basics. Then I edit video. I use Final Cut Pro primarily, and I am gonna be editing various different footage. Uh, 8K footage from the Nikon Z9 that I'm actually recording with right now, but it's in 4K. Uh, ProRes 422 RAW HQ that I recorded with the Atomos Ninja 5 recently for a review. I'll be dumping that in here as well to test it out to see how it performs. And then variety of things, how it works in Photoshop, what it's like to zoom in on images or use the healing brush or things like that. We're gonna see some of those tasks at hand here in the 13 inch MacBook Pro and see how it performs. Now again, I'm using this without a ch uh, charger to it. I'm using it on battery only because recently Apple's been very good with this. They did, they were fantastic with the 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max version I have here on my desk, which is powering my whole setup. I got a Zoom F6 that is plugged into that for my audio recording, which you're see hearing here right now. I'm also using my friend's ISO 27 inch 2K monitor for editing. That's plugged into the MacBook Pro as well. So, unfortunately, this 13-inch Pro, like its predecessors, only has two ports. One you have to use for power if you want to charge it, and the other for whatever it may be. Possibly another hub, because what are you going to do with two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports or Thunderbolt 4 ports? What are you going to do with it? Not much. A Pro machine should have more ports. Apple, we have peripherals. It needs to be included. But they haven't changed this body design since, I think, 2016, so that is a conversation for another day. Anyway. Let's get down to talking about this laptop, what it's got inside, and uh, we'll get into the review. Okay, in terms of specs, space grays you're seeing right here. This is a one terabyte, 16 gigabytes of unified memory inside of this. Uh, that's how it's working on this. So this is um, not the top end, because I think you can max it out at 24 gigabytes of unified memory, and of course increase the storage, but this is a very healthy spec M2 uh, 13-inch MacBook Pro that I think a lot of you will probably pick up if you're going to get one. So. Having said that, how does it perform? What are the specs like? What's it like for the brightness of the display? Let's get down to it. If you have not seen a review of a MacBook Pro 13 inch in the last uh, four years, well, let me refresh your memory. The display is not a liquid uh, Retina HDR display. It is a Retina display. It goes up to about 500 nits and that's about it. Your webcam on this is 720p. It's not even 1080p on this. So if you're looking for that upgraded webcam, you gotta go for the MacBook Air. Uh, you got the touch bar on this, which I like. Personally, I like the touch bar. Some people hate the touch bar. They want, they want physical keys. They wanna feel more traditional. To me, I'm like, hey, screw that. I like the touch bar. You got all these functions here. It changes depending on the, uh, on the program that you're using. It just is beautiful. I don't know why Apple got rid of it. I think they listened to too many of the naysayers, but Apple, Bring back the touch bar. You can enhance it a little bit, maybe a little brighter display or whatever the case may be, but I like the touch bar. And uh, the processor, the M2 processor, like I, you saw, you heard right there, ProRes, ProRes RAW does handle 8K better as well. And you will see in some of the tests that I did recorded with OBS, how it performs. And do take in mind that OBS is a little bit taxing on the system as it is. So if it's handling it pretty well with OBS on, 
it will handle it even better with OBS off. That's how I can record the screen so you can actually see how it works. Um, but let's talk about day to day battery life. This claims 20 hours. I've been getting anywhere from 15 to 16 to 17 hours, depending on my brightness of the display. I max out the brightness on this MacBook Pro 13 inch. So I want to, you know, take advantage of the 500 nits that this uh, produces, which isn't as much as other laptops, but it's good enough for daily use. Outside of that, I'm pretty much wireless free for the most part. I mean, a size like this, you don't want to plug into the wall all the time. Something like a 16 inch, you're going to have it plugged in more so because you're going to be connecting it and probably using it as a sort of a desktop replacement. This is going to be on the go with you. Uh, so battery life has been very stellar for me in that regard. No issues at all. Um, the fan does not kick on pretty much unless you're doing rendering. A video and that's a lot and you'll see that in just a bit with the ProRes uh, RAW it does kick on quite a bit because it is you know rendering a what is it about a 12 minute file thereabouts 90 some gigabytes it's quite hefty and it does the fan does kick on on that and but it doesn't I mean you're gonna feel the heat a little bit underneath it but it's only on one side but it's not hot to the touch it's just warm but it still performs beautifully very impressive this m2 chip imagine what an m2 pro or m2 max is going to be like man i just got this laptop a few months ago and that'll be outdated by the end of the year probably if we know how apple works but hopefully they take a breather and say guys enjoy the m1 max and the m1 pro a little bit more before we spoil the market with the m2 pro and m2 max anyway getting back to this bad boy here really quickly um Otherwise, it's great. There's no hiccups, no stuttering, nothing whatsoever. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to load up some footage here from as uh, the footage, uh, the ProRes RAW 422HQ, uh, 4K footage into Final Cut Pro. We're going to render that, see how that goes. Then we're also going to do 8K30 uh, with a 32-bit RAW WAV file from my uh, Zoom F6. We're going to synchronize those together. That's about a 39-second file there and then we'll render that to see how that goes. So with that, let's go down to testing out this MacBook Pro 13 inch M2 with two ports. This video is brought to you by Secret Lab. Here at Geek Culture, we love our Secret Lab chairs, especially the all new 2022 Titan Evo with its revamped four-way lumbar system for enhanced back support. If P Leather 2.0 isn't your cup of tea, then consider the all new Soft Weave, even more soft and breathable than before. The chair comes in more colors, including this lovely frost blue. The Titan Evo is even magnetized, allowing the head pillow to stick on the headrest without straps. Of course, there are even more new features, so do check them out at secretlab.com. CO. Okay, so as we saw from the test, it is not too bad at all. So this 11 minute and 25 second file, which was ProRes 422 RAW HQ 4K, that is a long name for a file, <laughs> um, actually did pretty well. Uh, the rendering time took four minutes and 10 seconds. That's on battery power only, and that's with OBS running in the background. The fan did kick on pretty loud. This is the first time I heard this fan really wind up, almost like a mini turbine, but it was warm to the touch, but not hot to the touch. So if you are going to do a very large file in that capacity with that uh, ProRes RAW HQ, and you're gonna do, let's say 20 minutes or so, plug this bad boy in, make sure it's on a cool surface, just so it doesn't, uh, you know, cook your table, so to speak. So I'm joking, it's not that hot, but uh, yeah, just be mindful of that. And then we uh, rendered the 8K30 file from the Nikon Z9. Then I synchronized it with my 32-bit uh, uh, WAV file from the Zoom F6. And that was a 39 second clip. That took about 40 seconds to render that entire thing. So that is not bad at all. So if we had a larger, we'd be interested to see how it handles. I would guess some throttling will come into play, especially with the heat 
going out of this processor, especially when it is process or you know rendering high resolution files like that. So that's something to take note of. But again, if you plug it in, I think that should override that to some extent. And of course, if you just work with your power management systems settings, it should be okay. But overall, very impressive for an M2 chip. And it's going, it just, again, it reminds you what's going to happen in the near future where this M1 Max that we just got, well, it's not gonna be outdated. It'll still work great but the M2 will just probably blow through everything and then some. All right, so for a lot of you out there who are looking for a laptop for day-to-day -day usage, you're not gonna be a heavy video editing or photo editing person. You're just gonna be browsing the web. You'll be able to do some of this stuff, but not a lot of it. I think the 13-inch Pro will be great for you. But the question remains, should you go for the Air? Now, the Air doesn't have a fan system inside of it. This has one fan. Will that make a difference? I don't know. Will Apple throttle the Air so the Pro does get a little bit of the edge in terms of power and performance? Remains to be seen. But the Air does come with fast charging, MagSafe, um, upgraded webcam. So you are getting some things in there that the Pro is not getting. So, I mean, we'll do a test when it comes in. We'll compare the both and we'll let you guys know. But I would say... First impressions, this is very good, but you got a 14 inch MacBook Pro that is right above it, that is performing better in some ways and in some ways right on par. And then you got the Air right behind it. So it's gonna be a very tough decision. And I think Apple needs to decide what to do with a 13 inch Pro. A Pro machine should have more than two Pro uh, ports and it should be significantly better than an Air, in my personal opinion. I may be wrong on this, but that's what I feel. And I feel they haven't decided what to do with this. They should just probably just call it a 13 inch MacBook and leave it at that. Let the Pro start at the 14 inch. And I think that might be a better uh, way to go about it, but nobody's asking me for my opinion. I'm just giving it to you guys. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the 13 inch MacBook Pro M2 version. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Any thoughts you have, let me know. I'll try to answer those for you. We will be doing a follow-up review with the Air when it comes out and comparing it to this. So watch out for that. Hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel as well, and like this video. Take care, stay safe guys, and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.